hey y'all and a welcome back to the channel so today i'm basically just doing some laundry the vlog today i'm going to be going to uh, kroger's to do a little grocery shopping and then also i'm going to haul it for you guys um and then also like i said i have some laundry to do which is just like ordinary things something we do <laughs> um as mothers anyways fathers too um and then y'all know the struggle <laughs> but anyways uh, let me show you guys the ot ootd outfit of the day um i just got my uh my little romper on and it's from targets I mostly shop at Targets for my stuff because they have amazing sales and clearances. And then I'm going to put this camera down because I want you guys to see the back of my romper. Um, because it has like a twist tie. Like a twist tie at the back. You got like a little opening. It says that it's reversible so I can turn it from the front to the back where it can show like a little cleavage. And then it has like these little ruffles here. Um, yeah, it has these little ruffles, and then and let me show you guys my um, shoes that I have on. I got these from Targets. My boyfriend actually got these from Targets for my birthday. They're just uh, nice little slip-in slides. I thought they were so cute. And also, mamas, if you have a little girl, they have matching slippers, um, house shoe slippers too. So if you have a little girl, which I don't have a little girl. But, um, I have a son, <laughs> but he don't play it. <laughs> but, um, if you have a little girl, definitely pick her up some because you guys, they feel so amazing. Um, they're just like the little, you know, twist tie shoes. Um, I love them. And they say, um, they're by the brand Stars Above. So you can grab those at Target as well. Um... Today is like a vlog day. I'm just going to take you around just the house and let you see the stuff that I be doing like when I'm off of work. You guys, this haul, um, I got a lot of stuff. So, yeah. Okay, so y'all pretty know, much know how my laundry system goes, my routine goes, bras, panties, underwear, socks in one basket, um, or in lingerie, one basket, <laughs> and shirts. Some of these are my boyfriend's shirts, and some like most of them are my, are my shirts, but some of them are my boyfriend's shirts because he decided he needed to put his things in my uh, laundry hamper thing. And then I got some, just a little bit of cover and towel, drying towel, and some face towels will go here and a uh, dish towels as well. Then over there is just um, my pants and jackets. I try to watch all that together um, because those are the ones that I need to really just deep, deep, deep wash. So what I deep wash is my jackets and my pants. And then I deep wash my underwear, lingerie, and stuff like that. And then I deep wash my covers and stuff like that but since I only have a little bit of covers and like a couple of towels and a couple of drying towels I'm gonna put them with my underwear because um I just saves time and it saves on water um and then also for my shirts I don't deep wash I wash them cold um because I don't want them to shrink some of the shirts are from like Dee Dee's discount and Dee Dee's stuff y'all know 
do strength so um, with time I learned how to wash their clothes um, so they won't shrink um, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get to it you won't see me washing all my clothes because I'm not gonna do that I really need to get to this Kroger's haul what I got um, and show you clips where I was in Kroger's um, but yeah let's let's get to it So y'all, this is the meat that I got from Kroger's. Um, I told y'all I had to hurry up and put this meat inside the fridge because it was like literally um, defrosted. Um, well, it's already defrosted when it leaves the store. But I had to go to Whole Foods, then I had to go to Target's, then I had to go to some other random stores. <laughs> um, and so I'll have those hauls out for you pretty soon. I was going to put them in this video, but that's going to be like a long video. And I know y'all ain't got time for that. Um, so we're going to keep it short and simple. So I got some Johnsonville Vermont maple sausage with syrup sausage. This is really, really good. I try to have like at least two of them. Um, they're really good. And then I got some. This right here tripped me out though because this is $33 um, for these steaks and it says clearly save more when you buy more um, and it's more um, and it says save $10 or more on this package so <laughs> this is $33 I didn't save that $10 y'all I really didn't like I didn't save I I paid with my card $30.92 I mean that's false advertising and I um and I asked the guy at the self checkout because I like the self checkout at uh, Kroger's, and he was like, it, "Yeah, it's misleading because a lot of people have been saying that." So I was like, "Well, I'll um, call the manager or whatever." And I know because that guy was real busy; he didn't have time to talk. Um, but I was like, "This is misleading." I took a picture of it, and I got a hold to a manager. A manager told me to send him an email of the picture, and he said that he will uh, refund him. He would. He would. If I go back to Kroger's, he will um, call him and let him know and he will give me my $10 back because he said that some of the stuff that they put on there is just false advertising just to get you to buy it. And really, honestly, we needed these because we're going to have like a little barbecue or whatever for our family, which they don't know about. But I need to get a grill. <laughs> Babe told me to get a grill. And we got some pork chops here. Um, I got them for like $4.81 and I probably need to go back and get some more. Um, but 
a lot of people are like um, my mom and them, stuff like that they don't eat pork and stuff like that I don't eat pork but I try to eat a little bit of it pork pork and beef make my stomach hurt really bad like my stomach is really sensitive to like beef and stuff like that but I try my best to eat just a little bit of it um, and and it, it's okay that's why I say normally um, if I was eating these I would eat like maybe like four or five of them but since stuff been going on in my stomach and stuff like that um, I just been eating like two of these um, and I try to eat like if I eat any type of beef product or pork I'll eat it like maybe I'll say twice out the month the rest is just turkey and that's it <laughs> um, and chicken um, but I got these beef patties for our barbecue as well and then I got babe and me babe loves hams and I love turkey so I got some ham and then on the other side there's turkey they're all separated so they're not touching each other um, when I saw this I thought it was just really really new I never saw that like a pack of this together and then they had turkey bologna I love bologna but I don't like the beef product so when I saw it's a low fat turkey bologna I was like what so I can have me a turkey bologna sandwich what <laughs> um but anyways yeah we um i got this right here and then i got some ballpark hot dogs these are the bun size hot dogs so let me go ahead and get rid like not get rid of this stuff but put it back in the freezer um and then i'll be right back so this is all the carbs that i got oh wait a minute i forgot one carb <laughs> I forgot one carb. Okay, so these are all the carbs I got actually. Um, and I, like I say, I'm trying to stop eating so much carbs. I've limited my bread down to like if I have a sandwich, I'll have like one piece of bread and I'll cut it in half like a triangle. <laughs> and um, I'll just put the meat, the veggies, and the bread on top and the dressing. And that's it. I'm normally, um, I'm normally not a, I'm going to say, a breakfast person. And I barely like lunch. But dinner is like my all-time favorite. Um, and if I have to have like lunch or whatever, I'm always in between what I'm going to eat. Um, especially when I'm at work, I don't know what I'm going to eat. Um, so there's a Target's like right 30 seconds away from my job. And I try to go over there and get like these little um healthy choice lunches they're so freaking good you guys i love them i take them out i dress them up the way i like to dress them up and i'll have that and i'll get full off of that and then i'll have either like some water or my infused water with fruit and then i'll have like the orange which i have over there um that's what i have for lunch but if i'm at home and i'm not at work i'm always searching like what am I going to eat? What am I going to eat? So now I'm going to start like trying to prep um, like some little handheld sandwiches for myself. So I did grab some of this uh, Kroger's Honey Wheat Bread. It's not the best choice, but this is like the only bread I like to eat. I don't like all that other stuff, um, especially like the normal grains and stuff like that. Like I saw this and it says sweet multigrain and I said, okay, yes, I like sweet bread. So um, I'll just eat like one piece of bread, but if my like my my boyfriend get a hold to any of these breads it's a wrap for me wrap for me so i'm going to be okay when it comes down to these low carbs because he likes carbs and i'm trying to stop the carbs so i did grab some like i said some kroger's honey wheat bread and then i gra i grabbed some uh or wheat sweet multigrain bread this is new um i'm gonna start taking these to work just making me little sandwiches little um like tuna sandwich or I'm not a big fan of tuna but like if I make it I'm gonna eat it if somebody else make it and I don't like it like I won't eat it um and I'm not a fan of like apples and grapes and stuff all up in chicken salad and I, I don't like that so I, in other words I would make my own tuna or chicken salad another good thing to have on hand is I bought this at Kroger's as well um especially when you're in a rush, is this Swanson White Premium Chunk Chicken Breast. You can just dress that up the way you like, um, especially chicken salad. You can just dress that up the way you like and um, go for what you know. Um, so I'll be doing that. And then so I got some spaghetti pasta, um, two of those. These are really cheap. They're like 79 cents, I believe. So I got those. 
and I like the little meal that they got on top but I don't, I'm not into like um, oysters and stuff like that but those that veggies um, veggie pasta sounds really good so I might make some of that and then I got some crispy fries I love my fries I love fries um, and so I got some of those from Kroger's y'all I always tell y'all Kroger brand is the best like any if they're off brand in a grocery store try it it is really good it's nine times out of ten it's the same it's the same brand as the original red they just put their labels on it and yeah so it's basically the same thing that if it was name brand um like i said it just posts their their brand name on there and it's like way more cheaper to buy off brand stuff at Kroger's too as well and so I got the the garlic three cheese um, Texas toast for spaghetti night and this time I think I'm gonna have a veggie spaghetti um, that sounds really good and I'll just make boyfriend some meat on the side so he can add it to his own stuff um, I did get this almond flour um, grain free tortillas um, for when I want to have like a, you know a quick wrap for lunch or something like that I'll grab these these are not cheap y'all so it was eight of them, and they weren't cheap. They weren't cheap. Um, I found some at Kroger's. Um, they were a little cheaper, but most of the time I get them either on um, my my Amazon grocery, um, and they're like six or seven dollars. Or I'll go to uh, Whole Foods and get them for like uh, seven or eight dollars. Um, so, but these are not cheap, and I found these at uh, Kroger's for like four dollars, y'all, like four, four or five dollars, and that's cheap to me. So I should have grabbed like two, but I don't need all this. Like, I really don't. This is good for me. This right here, out of all this, I'm going to tell you, is this good for me. This could be good, too, because um, it has grains. But then I did get some Pearl Milling, Milling Company Buttermilk uh, Pancakes as well. Um, I'm just going to tell y'all, this is Pearl Milling. It's just Auntie Mama. Um, if you were wondering what brand that was, it's nothing but Auntie Mama. They just changed the name of it. Um... And this lady, she was in there, and she asked me, she was like, what brand is that? Uh, I've seen it a lot in stores, but I didn't grab it. And I said, it's just uh, Auntie Mama, but they changed the name because we already know why they changed the name. Um, and we're not going to go into details of why they changed the name. Um, but yeah, Pearl Milling is just um, Auntie Mama. So I would grab some and... Yes, it tastes really, really good. Today, I think I'm going to make some... I'm going to make me a waffle, probably. I'm going to make me a waffle. <laughs> uh, or I may make pancakes. I don't know. But, um, yeah. Because I haven't ate anything. And it is... It is... What time is it? 10.49. Some have brunch. <laughs> um, so, that's it for my, like, carbish type of stuff so next is going to be I'm going to have between the can and the um, dressings and stuff or condiments and just like packet stuff um, so yeah So this is the canned goods, the condiments, and a little bit of freezer thing, of uh, freezer stuff, and yeah. So let's go and some drink. Um, not drink, drink, but healthy drinks. Um, so I got some Cool Whip um, because I make this bad, bad ice cream sandwich. It's not your ordinary ice cream sandwich. I will show you guys soon what I make. Um, I love ice cream sandwiches, but they are too sugary and yeah <laughs> um so this is my version of making an ice cream sandwich my way low carb um and like i said i will show you guys but um i love me some good cool whip like it's my favorite um and the calories are really low it's like 25 calories you guys i'm not counting calories but i do kind of glance at the calories i don't know i don't know why i do that but um I'll show you guys how I make my little my little DIY version of ice cream sandwich in probably the next vlog because I'm probably gonna do like a cooking uh, vlog. Um, and then I got some of this 
uh, Ref Kroger's Refresh Peach Tea, sugar free, um, for my um, my water. So you just open them and pour the powder inside of your water, and boom, you got some peach tea. I love Starbucks peach tea, y'all. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you. I love Target's um, green. It's like a green tea. It's not peach tea. I'm sorry, but it's like a green tea, and it's so freaking good. And I buy from um, Kroger's or I buy from Targets. It's really, really good. It tastes so fresh. Um, but I have uh, recently started brewing the tea and just putting in the pitcher and putting in the fridge. And I'm saving money, honey. Like I'm saving so much money than going to the stores buying all their. Um, buying all their um their teas there which is really expensive so the tea that i'm making my starbucks tea with is just the refreshment um tar uh, tazo tea and it's caffeine free um and so i i brew like maybe six or seven bags of this and then i put in the fridge put some lemon and it is so freaking good it tastes just like the regular tea that you buy in the store from Starbucks and then so I do love evolution um, drinks they're so good um, and they have like um, basically a cold press fruit and veggie juice smoothies they're really good I drink them in, like, in the morning time they're expensive but I got them um, I got them on sale I think it's buy two and get one free um, at Kroger's so that's a good sale so if you're looking for something to pick you up in the morning time um, this one is the super fruit greens it's got oranges mangoes pineapples cucumbers spinach romaine and kale it tastes really good a lot of people think that because it has um, cucumber spinach romaine and kale it's gonna be really bitter but y'all uh, it tastes so good like when I tell you it tastes really good it tastes good um, so I I love those two and then I'm just now trying um, this is my first time I was trying the organic defense up and it has orange pineapple mango apple and um, I think arugula it says um, so I'm gonna go ahead and try that one myself and see how it that taste because it's my first time ever trying that um, so yeah I got those three like I said they were on sale buy, buy two get one free so that was a great deal for me um, and they were like four dollars so honestly they got um, I paid two dollars for each which in general they are like two or three dollars um, and so I did get some um, pasta sauce that I need to stock up on so I got the Kroger's brand tomato basil pasta sauce and the Kroger, Kroger's brand traditional pasta sauce um, it's no sugar added for the traditional one um, I really love their pasta sauce and I do add vegetables to my pasta sauce as well so um but Kroger's pasta sauce looks really really good the vegetables are in there but I just I've been doing that my mom's seeing from seeing my mom put vegetables in her pasta sauce I started doing it and it tastes really really good um let's move some of this stuff out the way um, I did get some four packs of pink salmon, chicken of the sea, um, because I'm going to learn how to make salmon croquette. I love salmon croquette, um, and my mom, she's been making them, um, and I used to like her, all, like, when, when we used to eat them, like, back in the day, they were so freaking good, but now my mom has lost her touch at making salmon croquette. It tastes so wet. I don't know what the deal is, but, um, I think now it's time for me to learn how to cook these bad boys these patties so I got four of these because it's only two of us um, and my son doesn't eat like fishy fishy stuff he don't like stuff like this so um, I'm gonna make them for me and Bay. so I got four of those y'all wish me luck that might be my next video how to make salmon croquette for a beginner like myself um, and then I got for and like can ob objects or can goods <laughs> I got Kroger's brand refried vegetarian beans and then I got um, Kroger's brand nacho cheese sauce now I've never tasted these before but I know like I say I know that Kroger's brands never let me down so I went ahead and got this instead of got uh, the regular ones that I eat is Rosa Rita's beans and then um, the cheese that I normally get is Rico's cheese but I went ahead and got this because I feel like it's the same thing it's the same brand it's probably going to taste the same. Um, all I do is dress it up, put seasoning, and we like jalapeno peppers in ours, so just dress it up to the way you like, and it'll be 
amazing. Um, and then I got some Wolf Brand Chili. I normally get the turkey um, one. And um, it's really crazy how the shelves in Kroger's look right now. So I wound up getting one with beans and one with no beans. We normally have like no beans in it, but I didn't really have an option. So, and I really didn't want to take all the food, like the food off the shelf or whatever. I normally get like two of each, but they were, um, they were low on uh, chili and they were low. They didn't have any of my turkey chili. That's what I really like. Um, so I would have wound up just getting two of these and, um, maybe two of the turkey chili ones but I have to s use those I guess um, maybe if I go somewhere else I can find turkey chili but I don't know um, I did get some of the Simply Truth organic tomato ketchup it's really really good y'all like it's my favorite it's babe favorite it's my kiddo favorite like this is in the family like this is the only ketchup we love in our family um, and it tastes really really good um, I did get some Kroger's brand traditional salsa mild and I've never tried it um, it don't look like it have a lot of vegetables in it but I may just cut some vegetables up and put it in there I'm a vegetable girl so I may cut some like dice up some onions later and maybe some um, I may put some bell pepper and stuff in there and um, yeah, I might just do it my own um, and put some jalapeno peppers in there and it should be good. It should give it a go. But I'm sure if you if you eat it like this, it'll be good too. I'm not going to knock it because I've never had it. But um, yeah, I like to see vegetables in my stuff. Um, and then I got Kroger's brand Sweet Relish, which is really good. Got two of those. Y'all Y'all know I'm washing the clothes, so um, that's the noise in the background. Then I got these... Um, fresh for a week fresh for a week <laughs> um, basil lightly dried things here gourmet garden um, so I got this instead of like chopping your basil you just buy it already chopped and then I got a uh, cilantro cilantro is like my favorite basil is like my favorite so I was really excited to see both of them um, normally when I'm looking for these um, they don't have them and then I got something new because I want to start um, I wanted to kind of stop using the powder, the powder garlic and just start using whole garlic, but I didn't want to go, I didn't want to, should I say, peel the garlic. Um, and there's a lot of different ways you can peel garlic and it's easy to do, but I'm lazy. So I already got the peeled garlic and I think fresh garlic is the best garlic. Um, so this is the California grown, um, uh, Gilroy's finest Christopher Ranch family owned um gar peeled garlic i've never tried this but i saw it and i was like let me give it a go um so it is made in the uh, usa so um i was like you can't go wrong it's already peeled all i gotta do is dice it or whatever and do it that way but that is it for the vlog you guys i hope you enjoyed this kroger's um haul um i can't wait to um, share with you guys everything else I got in the next vlog like I said that might be a cooking vlog so I won't sh probably haul anything um, so um, yeah thanks for watching make sure you subscribe hit that thumbs up and turn on all post notifications if you want to follow me on Instagram do so um, it's the same thing it's, it's Andrea Michelle says um, all lower cap um, letters and yeah and you guys, also, I'm about to launch my business, um, probably in April, so I'm trying to get everything together, get it all going. Um, I just received my congratulations from my LLC, so I am a, a whole business owner and an interpreter as well, you guys. And um, I got my EIN, and then I got, I got stuff going, and I'm all over the place, you guys, but I haven't forgot about y'all. I'm still going to be vlogging. Um, and then um, the person that um, is going to be my accountant, she already said that now I can do a lot more on YouTube and possibly get paid um, for my videos and stuff like that. So we'll see. We'll check. Um, since I've been doing YouTube, I've been doing it from the heart, I'm not looking for anything. Um, and I'm still not looking for anything, but 
um yes these videos honey like they the editing and all the effects and stuff all that stuff is is crazy and so they were saying like you put more money into your videos you can get your money back um so um like i said I, i'm loving i'm loving um vlogging more for you guys and yeah i just hope you guys appreciate like i appreciate you guys i watch all y'all videos and stuff like that um and i like and i always like I be just laughing, like I be like smiling. I'm like, man, I remember when this person had these many subscribers, and now they have up there. Like, I be watching y'all. I be liking y'all videos and stuff like that. So, definitely, definitely show some love back. Um, but anyways, I gotta go. Bye.